So when I tell you that this one-way fare cost me £600, you kind of think it would, you would expect it to be polished. Finland. It's got snow, it's got space, and it's also the home of Santa Claus. It also apparently has an excellent airline. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Finnair, the movie, part one. Well, good morning everybody and welcome to Heathrow Terminal 3. Very excited flying Finnair for the first time ever. I've been told to expect great things such as great food, great crew and a nice polished Airbus A321. So when I tell you that this one-way fare cost me £600, you kind of think it would, you would expect it to be polished. Well, there's only one way to find out. So let's go and try Finnair. Today's 2 hour and 55 minute flight will see us cruising at a maximum altitude of 37,000 feet on an 8 year old Airbus A321. First port of call today is the One World Lounge. Unfortunately the first class section is still not open yet, but the business lounge affords decent views of today's ride up to Helsinki. This lounge is still offering a fairly basic service, so we head to the brand new three week old Centurion Lounge. Given my mild obsession with airport lounges, I'll be doing a dedicated video in a few weeks time, so don't forget to hit like and subscribe to see more about the Centurion Lounge. By the time my Avgeek friends and I fell out of the Centurion Lounge, most passengers had already boarded. Initial impressions are very good. The cabin appears clean and nothing appears to be broken. And before we go any further ladies and gents, let me introduce Neil and Jamie, today's fellow Avgeek playmates with me on this flight. Unfortunately, the excitement is just too much for some people. It's a grey, wet, miserable day here at Heathrow this morning, but we do spot blue through the clouds. And remember, it doesn't matter how gloomy it is on the ground, it's always sunny above the clouds. And as I promised you, there's the sunshine. So, so far, so good. As attested by me and the other geeks. Soon enough, lunch service starts with a round of drinks. And this is where the blueberry starts. 
the signature blueberry of Finnair. And then it's on to a wholesome looking meal service. Menus were not handed out and I wasn't given a choice, but it does look excellent, with a starter of pickled herring and a main course of chicken, mashed potato, vegetables in a nice thick gravy. Regular viewers of the channel will know that I love nothing more than a nice thick gravy. There's nothing worse than wet watery gravy. More of that signature blueberry juice which is delicious, particularly when you mix it with vodka. I can highly recommend it. I'd also like to share with you details of my new Instagram account, In The Sky Neil. For up-to-date information on where I am, the trips I'm on, as well as entering prize giveaways and chatting to me live on Insta Live, then don't forget to hit subscribe. It costs nothing and you never know, you might win a prize. Let's face it, it's, it's way better than BA Club Europe, isn't it? This is what BA Club Europe should be. And the hand gestures really sum up my thoughts on this lunch. One of the best lunches that I've ever had on any European business class service. And before anybody says it, I am going to try out Aegean Airlines next year. The empty plate says it all. The chicken was succulent, the potato had a nice viscosity, and the vegetables a wonderful taste. Who knew that a European business class airline could produce such a feast? As we cross the Danish coast, I think, ladies and gents, it's time we went to the toilet together. So we're about halfway through the flight now, just off the Danish coast. Now probably about an hour, an hour and five minutes before we land in Helsinki. And I have to say, you know, has Finnair met my expectations? Well, absolutely, yes. It has definitely been. It's lived up to the hype that my fellow Av geeks and people in the industry said. You've got a lot to look forward to with Finnair. And we saw the lunch service. It came with a nice start with pickled herring, a typical Finnish dish, plus the main course of the carrots, the chicken, the rich gravy. And as you've seen with dessert, they've just given me, there's no actual dessert, but they've given me cognac and some more finished vodka with the blueberry juice and of course the, the coffee. So absolutely, uh, you know, this is what most, this is what European business class should be all about. Very impressed. With lunch service complete, it's time to put on my headphones and relax. Using Finnair's free 30 minutes of Wi-Fi in European business class, I check in on my fan mail, which leaves me 30 minutes free Finnair business class Wi-Fi to do other things. I'm sat staring out of the window at the passing countryside. I want to tell you about my awesome Patreon supporters. It's people like James and Joe that enable me to bring you these videos. They, like every other Patreon supporter, get to see my videos first. So if you'd like to join them, there's a link below. Finnair's route network is more extensive than you might imagine, particularly to the Far East. 
operated with a fleet of modern Airbus A330 and 350 aircraft, you can sometimes get some excellent deals year-round. Finnair offers year-round really good value fares in business class to the Far East, places such as Hong Kong and Singapore. And you can fly these routes for less than £1,400 if your plans are flexible and if you can start your journey from places like Stockholm or Oslo. Whilst we're flying over the Danish countryside, it's worth telling you that if Instagram and Patreon are not really your things, you can also follow me on Facebook, at Moments in the Sky. So I'll leave you in peace as we land in Helsinki, and I'll come back to you at the end of the flight. What did you think, chaps? Happy? Uh, good flight. Uh, good flight. I mean, that, that, that's how that's how a European business class should yeah, be. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, very, very good. Very happy with that. Very happy. Well spent 600 quid, maybe. So as I bid farewell to the other two Avgeeks as they head off to Budapest and I head off to my hotel here at Helsinki Airport, all that remains to say is join me in part two. Thanks for coming along. And I'll see you soon.